What the? You gotta help! Realm, she's... Something happened to Realm? Yeah, she was on fire, then it caught the neighbor's house on fire, and now I can't even think straight anymore, bud. Please, you have to help her. Realm's in there! Now that's not good. Hello everyone, it's me, Lockdown, with yet another Final Fantasy VI Let's Play. Again, this is from my buddy Michael. This, this is my favorite game and... Favorite game. Favorite game. This is my favorite game, and I really want him to enjoy it. And so that's why I'm playing through all the games, so that he can enjoy the whole game without doing any of the work. Alright, so when we left off last time, uh, we had gone and visited Vector after it had been destroyed by the Espers. We had a conversation with... What's his face? I forget his name already. Uh, Gestal, that's it. We had a conversation with Gestal, and we were able to determine where th the relative area that the Espers went to, which was where we are currently. And we set up a team to go and visit the Espers and try to calm them down and not, you know, ravage the entire world. But we are skeptical of the Empire, and so we left behind most of the team to do that. We hop on the ship, we come up to this place, and well, here we are. Now, this is going to be one of the few towns that I actually talk with almost everyone. Oh wow, we don't see many travels around here. Oh yeah, baby, we got rods! We got rods! <laughs> Oh, do you know how happy this makes me? I don't know if they're good late game, but I'm at least gonna buy a bunch of them now. And I don't intend to use them as the, the weapon they're expected to be. I intend to use them solely for... I'm gonna need two of those, actually. I'm just, I intend to use them solely to break. That doesn't make much sense. So if... I think you'll recall when I was fighting the Imperial Tunnel Armor with the Lock and Celeste scenario back, way back when, uh, I broke the Thunder Rod that I got from the chest and it did crazy amounts of damage. Well, that still remains true because we it negates their, their uh, whatchamacallit, it, their magic defense. And so it makes very, very useful in the, to have them at this point in the game. Let's see, just do two for now. I'll need one of those later, so... Oh, that's a, this is a good one. Eh, I can manage on what I've got right now. Yeah, later on, there's a really good uh, leveling spot. Or not leveling, a uh, money-making spot where you get 10,000 per battle. Aspers, what in the world are those? If there's some kind of beast, you should ask the old man who's on the edge of town. The innkeeper doesn't like strangers, always overcharges him. Hmm, I wonder how much he charges. Your outsiders is gonna cost you 1500 gil if you want to stay here. Okay. That's not. communityist? What would you call that? Welcome, welcome! Magic? What's that? In case you can't get the feel from the music, these people aren't quite letting on as much as they know. But that should be made a bit clearer in a second. Hey, you're not getting in here! Okay, that, that's fine, kid. I'm used to walking everywhere but into anybody's house, no problem, because, you know... Reasons. Video game reasons. But, I don't mind. This person's important. He has a different sprite, and we all spread about. Spread about. What brings you young folks to see me? 
An elderly gentleman who has spent his whole life pursuing the secrets of monsters. Strago. Espers, eh? I haven't heard that word in years. So you know about Espers? <laughs> nope, can't say I do. Don't know a thing. Not one thing. Something's fishy here. Grandpa! Hey! What do you think you're doing, young missy? I really don't like the voice I picked out for him. I'll probably change it later. I want to be a little bit more wise, but eccentric at the same time. Oh man, I can explain how I want the voice, but I can't freaking do the voice. In her picture, she captures everything. Forest, water, light, the very essence of the, very essence of the things she paints. Realm. She's actually the focus of a very important glitch in the Super Nintendo version. Grandpa, who are they? Are they friends? Can they use magic too? So, I, wait, did we have an, a mayor just say, Magic? What's that? <laughs> oh, what a cute doggy! Back off, he bites. Go back to... Let's see. Go back to your room. Why do I have to go to my room? You never let me have any fun! Because I said so! Now shoot! Fine! Oh dear, seems to have been taken... Seems to have taken a liking to your dog. Hoof! And slam. That child... My apologies. It's fine, he usually doesn't like other people though. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this right now. There is... I'm just going to spoil a little something. There's a strange connection between uh, Shadow, as we learned his, his true name is Clyde, and Realm. And I will express that mo more fully when the explanation comes. Uh, sorry, there's a lot of things that I want to say, but I just have to wait till the right time to say them, you know? Anyhow, I'm terribly sorry, but I really don't think I can be of any help to you folks. I, uh... I see. We're just your ordinary, quiet little village. You're not going to find anyone who's about knows about any of those Esper things here, I'm afraid. Now in Thamasa. Hmm, there's something strange about this place. Let's have a look around the village. Notice my little girl voice and my woman voice are the almost the exact same. Thanks for your time. Sorry, I couldn't be more helpful. Interceptor. Bye bye. Anyway, what you're supposed to do is basically, if you sleep at the end, the next part starts. But I like to, I want to show things around. Hmm, where did that voice come from? Fire! Fire! Huh? Uh-oh. So, uh, little kid, what was you doing back there, huh? What was you doing? Have you met Realm? Have you met... Dang it, my words are not coming out right today. Have you met Realm? She paints. I should see if she'd paint my picture. <laughs> you wouldn't want that, kid. Not because she's a bad painter at all. Quite the opposite, in fact. Um, where did that voice come from? Mama, yeah, Owie! Oh, all right, here. Hmm. Hi. Curio. Yes, I think I left medicine in the curio cabinet. Mama, why would you use cure on me? I feel really bad for anyone who watches this video. That's got to be painful on the ears. I think there's one more cutscene, but I don't remember. I'll look around, see if I can find it. Don't 
Don't mind me just running through your village trying to catch you all doing something that you say you can't do, but obviously can. Ah, oh, that's right, there's the little graveyard over there. I think there might be... Perhaps not, then. Alright, well, let's we'll just move on to the next sequence, I guess. I swear there was a third one. One go per night. Why not relax for a spell? Oh, wait, so you're not community yist anymore, Mr. Innkeeper? Not that I'm complaining. That's basically free. You could use the rest. She's something happened to Rel? Yeah, she was on fire, then it caught the neighbor's house on fire, and now I can't even think straight anymore, but please you have to help her. Shadow Ain't got time to waste. But he's an assassin, and assassins are notoriously light sleepers. Interceptor? Where did you go? I wonder what happens if you try to leave it this time. I've never actually tried. Well, would you look at that? That takes you to the world map, just like you'd expect. Whoa! Teleportation, though. Fire in the village! Ah, my house! Actually, I think I'll go save real quick, just because I'm going to try some risky strats, and I don't know how it'll go, but, you know, you, you, you know, you know. First, let me do this. Uh, no, not that one, not that one. Where are you? Alright, and that's just perfect! I wonder if I can buy stuff. Yeah! Village on fire, what do we care? I need one more ice rod just to feel confident. Probably don't need it, but just in case. Rams in there. No, oh, that's not good. Ram! Notice everyone sounds the same when I yell as well. What are you doing? Flames be gone! Magic is forbidden! Magic? So Terra wasn't the only one. I don't care, Realm's inside! I don't care, Realm's inside! Flames be gone! Yeah, this isn't, this isn't a bad voice. Yeah, well, maybe a little bit older. Mayor! Alright. You really have no choice. Stand back. Sorry, not stand back. Stand back. Triangles always make the strongest magic formations. I also don't get why they all do it at the same time. Flames be gone! Flames be gone! Flames be gone! Tabushki. It's no use, the fire's too strong. They were storing an awful lot of flame rods in there. I'm going in! Wait, I'll go with you. Tell me into. I'm not gonna let an old geezer go in there on his own. Who are you calling a geezer? I'm only 70 and fit as a fiddle. Geezer, he says. Yeah, his voice just gets changed every time I talk as him. Sorry, everyone. The fire's spreading fast, but why are you standing in the middle of it? Looks like the house could collapse at any second. Why are you standing in the middle of it? We have to hurry and find Realm. Or, we, we have to hurry and find Realm. WHY ARE YOU STANDING IN THE MIDDLE OF IT, NOT MOVING?! Sorry. 
Those are random encounter battles. The fact that I skipped two of them, I'm actually impressed with. Rick, I hate it when they do that. I'm gonna have you focus on keeping us alive. Uh, let's go with Aqua Breath. So, Strago here is what is known as a Blue Mage. He learns the spells of monsters. And then he can use them against them. Basically, he has to see the spell to be able to use it, but, you know, he came with a few. Plus, I think it just counted whatever we had seen up to that point. Oh, wow, that's almost impressive. I'm never good at skipping these things. Anyways, he's quite the boon in this particular circumstance. As demonstrated. So I'm going to be trying a speedrun strat here. It's one... Oh, come on! I moved already! Uh, the, the way it works is Tara uses her transformation transform command. So she turns into her Esper form, which, like I said before, increases all of her stats drastically. And so then I turn her into that, and then I break the the Ice Rod, and it'll do Blizzara, but with her new increased strength, which, needless to say, is pretty strong. I'm pretty sure this one just goes boom kaboom boom kaboom And that happens. Which reminded me, I didn't change what weapon I had on Strago. I feel like it matters. Dang it, I almost made it through them. This is why I like having Locke on my team. He's not the strongest out of all the fighters. I love when he uses his Hawkeye. Because you can be swung or thrown, and it's way more powerful thrown. Now, is this the chest? This is the chest. That heals the enemy a lot, as you can guess, considering they are fire. Fueling the fire. I think this has the ice chest? Ice rod. As you can see, I've been collecting rods. New favorite pastime of mine. Is this what started the blaze? Alright, you're gonna see me give it a go. Go into trance. Okay, new plan. Okay, double the new plan. <laughs> Oko. Well, I guess Draco's not getting any of the experience from that. But dang! To give you perspective, uh, that much damage is insane. That's late game damage. You don't do... The most damage you can deal in one hit is 9,999. She just did 7,900 something or another. Ram, where are you? Oh, Interceptor, you're the best. Ram! Oh no, we're too late! And everybody died. Really, that'd be a dumb way to end it. But that dog is a beast. Get it? Because it's a dog? But no, like, seriously, it's awesome. It's If you think that each one of those is technically three or six of the little bombs, he's fighting off at least uh, 15 of them. And this is how cool Shadow is. I'm a freaking ninja, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's time to get out of here. I'll use a smoke bomb. I don't know how that's effective, but apparently ninjas plus smoke bomb equals teleportation. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks, Grandpa. These folks are the ones you should be thanking. Thank you. 
and Shadow is very contemplative off to the side. I guess our little secret is out now. Everyone in this village can use magic, can't they? What is this place? This is the village of the Magi. A long, long time ago, humans used Magicite to acquire magical powers. Those who gained the ability to use magic were the people known as the Magi. I didn't think there were any Magi left in the world. After the War of the Magi, the Espers fled to a new, new world beyond the Sealed Gate. They wished to live in peace without fear of their powers being used by others. That only left humans in this world, and the ordinary ones feared the Magi's power. The horrors of the wars were still fresh in their minds. It soon be turned into an Inquisition. Magi were hunted down and executed. Oh, there were trials, of course, but they were merely for show. Even though the only difference was that they could use magic? The few who managed to escape took up shelter here. They were our ancestors. Our power has weakened as our magi blood is thin, but they remain in some form of or some form or another. If you're up to it, do you think you'd be willing to help us? You said you're looking for some espers, right? Well, I do owe you one for saving realm. I'll help you find your espers. I want to go too. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just look at Strago. She hasn't finished her sentence yet. I think not, young lady. Fuddy duddy. It's such a cute statement. Fuddy duddy. <laughs> uh, but where do we start? Hmm. If they came this way, they'd be hiding. They may be hiding in the mountains to the west. Why right there? Those mountains are teeming with magical energy. According to the legend, they are a sacred place to the espers. Perhaps the magic of that place drew them there after they went berserk. Shadow, where are you going? It's worth a look. Buddy Daddy. I think there's an item around here that I can collect. I can never remember. I know it's... I know there is one, I just don't know where it's at. There it is, the memento ring. Let me just show you the oddity that is the, moment, the memento ring. Ring blessed by departed mother's love. It prevents petrification, zombie, and instant death. Now, Dark Souls is an amazing game, and it tells its almost all of its lore through its items. This is the first example that I personally can think of of a game doing something like that. Because this memento ring can only be equipped by Shadow and later Realm when I when she gets added to my party, implying there's a connection between the two. A departed mother's love. So, well, we'll get to more of that later on. Don't get the wrong idea. It's one of my dog back. I wish I could do a cool voice for Shadow. Something deep, but kind of distant. You're leaving? I'll search for the Esters in my own way. Interceptor. Walks off into the sunset. I love Shadow's theme. I wish we could play more often. Okay, so I might be cutting this video a little bit short because the next part is a dungeon, but we'll see how it goes. I don't know why I say that out loud for you guys. It's not like you're going to see any difference because I'm the one editing all the videos. It makes you feel better, so why not? That guy just sneezed at me. Did a good job of it, too. No, I should have... Eh, whatever. Going, going, going. 
Yeah, that's a strong rod. So I was reading an article, or no, I was watching a YouTube video by Dark Pixel. It was a review for Final Fantasy VI, actually done quite recently. It was done uh, back in June of this year, or of 2016. Man, it's gonna take a while to get used to this not being 2016 anymore. But anyway, uh, and I learned that this was one of the first video games, or one of the earlier video games, to start making use of light motif, which. I had to do a little bit of research on, but leitmotif basically means having a melodic phrase, a, a, a musical concept, whether it be a rhythm, whether it be a musical phrase, whether it be a series progression of chords, that uh, is used extensively to promote a single individual or idea. Another great example of this would be, uh, whatchamacallit, Undertale. Undertale has some great leitmotif. If you ever look into the files of the game, I swear I never did that, but if you look into the files of the game, you would find that out as well. Goodbye! And I just watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Anyway, so, uh, like, Sans theme is also, like, the battle theme, but sped up. And then, like, uh, you have to look these up because it's much more in detail and much makes a lot more sense what you actually do it. Papyrus's theme, for example, was used both for his fight and for I can't think words at the moment. Nah, I give up. Both for they used it both for just like his introduction in the fight and then like uh Oh, 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 I know the one. The introduction theme is to Undertale actually has a big influence later on in the, uh, spoilers for Undertale, the Dreamer fight. I guess that would be, eh, hey, what was this? Did you see a realm? I didn't see anything. I think I'm skipping items. Again, just accept that I am. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this next part is optional, or maybe you can't progress until after you've done it. I've never tried skipping it, and I'm not going to do it today because it'll make the video unnecessarily long. Besides, we won't get another character if we don't. Are these statues of the Warring Triad? The Warring Triad? There are letters chiseled into the backs of these things. So, uh, what's this Warring Triad? They're legendary gods who created the power we know as magic. So they're the gods of magic? You could say that. This place is brimming with magic. Those three gods are the creators of magic, meaning they also created the espers. It's said that the espers once enshrined images of the god in a holy place. This must be it. The espers must have been drawn here by the magic of those statues. Uh, okay. So, what happened to the gods after they made the espers? Supposedly they, t supposedly they tired of their fighting and turned themselves to stone. Legend has it they can be found beyond the sealed gate, resting in their eternal slumber. I wonder if their magic is what connects the, the gate to the esper world. Hmm. These espers were drawn there, drawn here by these statues that could just be up ahead. worth a look. Where are you going, Realm? You're too cute. Oh! What the heck? Ultras. And <laughs> he jumps on lock. Who... Uh, honestly, I don't know why this ha fight happens. I have no idea other than to introduce... I guess it's like a pseudo-tutorial, in a way. <laughs> These shiny glow statues are all mine! Now I'll finally be able to get some respect from Siegfried. Remember that guy I made with the Russian accent who 
did eight damage with a swing, and then Cyanac just attacked him back, back in like video six or something. Yeah, that punk. He can't get respect from them. Oh, they're all glowy, but sparkly, so pretty. Hey, Squidbraid, don't you ever learn? Well, Mama always said I was a slow learner, but at least I never give up. Thought you wouldn't see me again? I've got more lives than I do arms. Nope, trance. Do you have anything with stealing? Okay, where's that flame rod? Where's that flame rod? <laughs> I've never tried this. So I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Dang! Although I'm almost out of trance, which I probably should save for later. Oh well. I know what you're thinking. Man, that was cheap. Sorry, so sorry. And this is the whole reason for this fight as far as I can tell. Otherwise, completely out of place. Grandpa! I... I followed you here. Realm! I thought I told you to stay home! I cannot keep that voice consistent. I wanted to practice my drawing. I am a budding virtuoso, after all. Hey there, what's your name? How dare you ask me my name? As if anybody wouldn't already know the great Ultras. A pine sign virt virtuoso? An egotistical octopus? Do I even want to know what's next? I like the slight fourth wall break there. Hey, Ulti. Why don't you pose so I can draw your picture? Alt ulti? The name of this brat! Look, I'm not one of your kitty friends, and I don't want a stinking portrait. Forget it then. <laughs> I don't want to draw a picture anyway. It's okay. I'll just jump off this ledge. Then everyone will be happy. No, Ron, don't jump! Whisper, whisper. How dare you tease a little girl like that! If anything happens to her, I'm not going to forgive you! I... I... I mean... I... I didn't... Well, jeez, what do you want me to do? Let her draw your picture. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll even make you look good. I'm not cut out for this sort of thing. Oh, alright. Uncle Ulti really, really wants you to draw his picture. <laughs> You're gonna love it! At any rate, get over here! Oops, that's the person I wanted. How can this be? I'm just a washed up old octopus? So that's the realm's sketch ability. Hey, did you see me? Wasn't that great? I'd be way more useful than Gramps. D Gramps? It wouldn't hurt to bring her along, would it? Oh, all right already. Not like you stay at home when you're told to, anyway. Yay! So all I gotta say is, well, that happened. But this is actually the perfect part to, to save. Because, oh, I never noticed that her, her class is called Pictomancer. But anyway, yeah, this is the perfect place to start because this next 30 minutes is going to blow your mind. I don't know if I'm going to make it quite that long, but there's a lot that's about to happen. And it's definitely going to have to be in two parts. I can say that much. All right, I hope you guys are ready, because this is gonna get crazy, and so all that and all that craziness will start in the next video. So, Michael, love you, my man, and see you in the next video.